all of your pattern books that you look at <coughs> will have symbols. <coughs> and this, this particular symbol is actually going, it's not as prevalent as it was, and that is, that's the water, water bath, you know. Up you go. Today, we have got symbols like that. Paste the paper. Now, all of these symbols are, in fact, international symbols. So, whether the manufacturer is in New Zealand, Australia, America, wherever, these symbols will be the same. They might vary as in <coughs> the style of the, of the symbol might be a little bit different. Now, you've got one where... <coughs> Excuse me. Spongible. Okay, spongible. What does spongible mean? If I asked you, each and every one of you, to say, what is your impression of spongible, I would get 25 different answers. Okay, spongible. Spongible means that you can get a damp sponge and dab it, not wipe it. That is spongible. Okay? Then you can get, and it's got two little what's-its. Washable. Again, what does washable mean? No, you can't take it off and put it in the dishwasher. No, you can't get a bucket of soapy suds and wash it. It basically means that you can get a damp sponge and you can very, very, very gently wipe it. So, you know, the, these, these things the interpretation of these things can actually ruin a paper. As I said earlier, some papers today are not coated. So you can forget spongible and washable because once they're on there, you can't touch them. So you have got to be very, very careful. In, in what you specify for a particular space. Be very careful. Because you can make things pretty bad. Okay, you've got the old sun. <coughs> and that's good. That's good light fastness. Or you can have half a sun. And that's moderate. That's moderate light fastness. Now, one of the things that happened, we used to get all our product from England. All our wallpaper used to come from England. And after 12 months of being on the wall, you had a white paper because the UV in New Zealand just sucked all the colour out within. And that happened actually with fabric. A lot of the original fabrics that came out to New Zealand, oh, beautiful, colourful for 12 months. Then all the colour's gone. Some of the stronger ones might have stayed there for a little bit. So light fastness is, is, is very, very important. Always look for that because if it's not there, there is another one called scrubbable, um, 
but you won't see that as much now as you used to because the scrubbability has pretty much taken a back seat because scrubbability came in when the manufacturers were using spirit or uh, spirit based inks. So they had solvent base, they stunk, they dried quick and you could scrub them. Today all the inks are actually acrylic. So scrubbability, forget it. There's no such thing. Then we have that, okay? And this is strippable. That means that the whole piece comes off the wall. The whole sheet comes off the wall. Doesn't leave anything behind. <coughs> no, doesn't matter. Yep. The other one is that, where that depicts the wall. That is the paper. That is there. And this is dry, peelable. Peelable because it leaves the paper behind it. So the vinyl will come off the top, leaving the paper behind it. <coughs> and if you've got one like that, and it has that in there, that means, great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then we have this fella. That is reverse hang. Okay? So, now you're not going to um, go home empty handed because all of these we have actually got something for you before you go. And that is everything. Every single thing. Um, <clears throat> this is something that I put together 12 months ago. Uh, it's been edited by Bridget. It gives you a whole overview. It gives you everything we have been talking about. Um, hanging instructions. And one of the best things <coughs> is that. It's a little ready reckoner. For example, if you're looking for joins opening, you just look down there and it will tell you exactly why the joins. It's not perfect, but it will give you a very good, but we'll talk about that in just a moment. Now, why do things happen? For example, we've spoken about why do joins peak. There is only two things that will make a join peak. One, you've pushed it too close together and it's gone like that, or two, the paper hasn't soaked long enough. Okay, now <clears throat> lifting joins, totally different than peaking joins. Now, if, if a peaking join, if you push that down, one would override the other because you've got more paper than the space, understand? Whereas lifting joins, the joins will lift, but when you put them down, they butt together. It's just that they won't sit down. <clears throat> Why won't they sit down? Could be that the, um, the surface hasn't been sanded properly. Could be that the adhesive has not been put right to the edge of the paper. Now one of the worst things you can do, and a lot of guys do this, the paper is lifting, they pull it back, get the old paste brush, slap it down there, push it back. Now that is one of the worst things you can do because what you're doing is you're putting more, pa more water on that join area, which means the join's going to dry after the centre of the paper, which means, bing, your joins can open. 